I wonder what Josh is doing. I bet he's not having breakfast on the patio with his amazing bestie Bridget. Hi, Josh. Cheers. I wonder what Josh is doing. Allergies, huh? I have allergies too, Tonka. back dude I hit the out of my knee coming into the room it's like I forgot how to get over the gate just being gone five days did I start show you wow <laughs> I like slammed it that's actually pretty hard hit I mean it is a hard hit it broke the skin just ramming my knee into the wall the things I go through for you guys my animals are still alive <laughs> I never worried about them not being alive. Josh does a great job. He's not like as attentive to detail as I would like him to be, like where some of the Heidi, I'm looking at him because he's <laughs> like, he forgets to put like blankies back in certain areas that need to have like blankies or like tunnels that should go somewhere for them to like feel a little bit more comfortable in their transition from one side of the cage to the other. Like Josh sometimes doesn't really pay attention to things like that. I can't remember. But you know what? They were always fed. They were clean. Their water was full. He did meds. He did feeds for MJ. <sighs> he did, oh, what, <laughs> are you getting in here to, <sighs> since I'm bragging about you? Is that what's happening? Don't look at me. Well, what am I supposed to I do? Did my me. microphone just fall down my shirt? Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sarah doesn't know. Hey, guys. What don't I, I know? Sarah doesn't know this, but we have a surprise for him by we. I mean, not me at all. I, I have nothing to do with this, but. Stop. You're yelling at me. Because you're covering the microphone. I'm sorry, here. Talk to me. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway, someone sent her a surprise hey. package, and it's been too long. I just hit the mic too, oh my bad. Stop staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to me. I'm nervous. Oh my God, no one camera. here, no one's here. But there is a, a thing, it's filming. You can edit it so that Horrified. none of your, none of this is in there. You can edit all of your, you yeah, have I, control over how you look on the internet. When it comes to you on YouTube, I have no control what I look like. Have you really been me. keeping this secret this whole time? Yes. How? Well, someone sent you something. Terrible secret keeper. And I was like, when we record, I'm gonna walk in, I'm gonna be like, Sarah, there's a surprise for you, check it out. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, yeah, I love presents. You thought you were doing an intro. And I not. mean, I am kind of doing an intro. Well, I did an intro in Mexico. Yeah. This is like, have you really been, where have you been hiding this package? Oh, it's just in my closet. 
Are you serious? I just I go in your closet to get your I dirty laundry. Some, I never I noticed. Okay. Don't touch it yet. Look, everyone, you guys can see it, but Sarah can't. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here you go. Oh my God, Andy told me that a package was coming and a package like never came. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Well, Andy was like, ex he was like, there's something coming for you. And, but I didn't, he, Austin hadn't said anything to me about it. I love his tape. He Austin has tape. Austin Instagrammed me, letting me know it was coming. Oh, so y'all are like sneaky friends yeah, now. Yeah, we follow each other now. It's no biggie. Oh, Austin, you sneaky friends now. Okay. Okay. I, I, I approve because it's in the form of gifts. And because I love you. And I love Andy. And we all love Josh. You know, God, Josh and I just started therapy. <laughs> <laughs> and within 30 oh, no. minutes of our freaking therapy session, the therapist was like, the world just needs more of you, Josh. And I'm just like, because <laughs> everyone, like when we first were dating and I introduced him to like, you know, family friends have known me my whole life. And their first thing they all said to me when he wasn't around was Sarah, don't this up. <laughs> I was like, well, thanks for the vote of confidence, y'all, and um, we're supposed to be on my team, and you're supposed to be telling him that, but, like, I get it. Josh is fantastic. Pay attention to I am, thoughts. I am. Okay. All oh, the new stickers and a note. Oh. Hi, Sarah and Josh. Andy. I love that Andy's the first part of the sentence, because I was like, Andy told me about Okay. Andy and I have felt so bad with all the medical issues you've been dealing with the pig, so we wanted to treat you with some goodies. I'm sure you'll be able to tell what items are from whom. With love, the pig room and Andy. You guys. Can we hang out in real life one day? Please. I'm obsessed with these stickers. Oh, he gave me multiple stickers. Oh my God, are all of these stickers yours? Are these like all pig room stickers? Look. Come on. Oh my God. Wait, how do, am Dude. I holding them right? I'm hitting the camera. This is hurting my leg. Okay, let's put those up there so they don't get ruined. <gasps> do I see cow print? Oh, I love a print. I'm a sucker for an animal print. <clears throat> Can y'all hear MJ? She's up there flirting. Who's drinking water? Can you tell middle level? I love that she's drinking. God, this thing is incredible. Look at this. Oh, it has a back. It's the cave. It's like the cuddle cave. I don't want to ruin what's Sarah, in here. Sarah, what? It's called the Cozy Cave. Oh, it's called the Cozy Cave. Oh my God. I don't want to break anything. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's giving birth. <laughs> I'm just like... You did a tunnel within a tunnel. Oh my God, it's like one of those Russian dolls where you just like keeps coming out and it's like a smaller tunnel inside of a tunnel. Look at this thing. You can fit the whole thing. Dun, 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 dun. No, it makes me think of the episode of Friends where she has the big turkey on her head and you know what I'm talking about? Guys, if you don't know, then you're clearly really young because if you've never seen that episode of Friends, you must be under the age of 20. This is the bubble tunnel because look, it's got bubbles. And this goes in the bubble tunnel. If you can see, Figgy like lives in his. He's literally always in that tunnel. I have, thankfully I have, well, I had three, but someone in David's herd chewed through one of them. Heathens. Oh my God, Austin, did you up your game or something? These are so plush. Feel that. Feel how plush that oh, is. Oh, right? yeah, we need like human bedding now. This is insane. So wait, can we make a human size one? I mean, oh my God. That would be so fun. But like this. Oh my God, and you could put twinkle lights in it and we can hang out and, <gasps> okay, okay. Moving on. Oh, from Andy. Oh, they wrote on it. All right, okay. Okay. We're gonna do this one first. There are some other things I feel like I pulled out that 
Maybe this is it. I got really excited when I saw a tunnel within a tunnel. Oh, he gave me toys. That's so nice. He gave me toys. These guys are too nice. Stop. That's so sweet. Oh my God, more toys. Full Cheeks the name of the brand. No way. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know they, they like changed it. It used to be all living or all things living and they changed it to full cheeks. <laughs> Josh doesn't like when I do this. <laughs> no one does. Okay, so he got, let's see, Timothy Hay hoop shoes. Sorry, I'm real smooth today. It's been a crazy one. And then Willow Twist Chews. These are cute. I have never tried the Willow Twists, so I'm super stoked about that. And then the Timbells Oxbow. These are awesome. And then this is for my boyfriend, Andy. Sorry, Josh. Oh, I drank a Red Bull, guys. <gasps> oh, these are for me. <laughs> Andy, you shouldn't have. Oh my goodness, Tangy, this is Tangy Jack. Josh, you're into this. Okay, we can't talk about this anymore. But what, I do really want to open it, even though I can't open this on camera. I'm opening it down here, guys. Check out my Instagram if you want to know what it is, because I post all the things that I can't post on here on my Instagram. I should be doing it to my Patreon, but like I've got one video done and then I just, I haven't really done anything. <laughs> I can't get it off. Can I see it now? Oh, Stop, geez. give it back. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not, can you smell the it? Smell. Yes, you can Oh smell. my God, you can smell it. That is like serious tangerine. Oh, these are so dope. This is so dope. It is so pretty. I should stop talking now. <laughs> so again, this is from Austin from the pig room. I like didn't think I could fall in, more in love with his products and then he just like went and outdid himself again. And his products just keep getting better quality. Like I feel like that usually that it goes the opposite way. People start off with really good quality stuff and then they like decrease in quality as they grow. But his quality is just getting better as he grows, which is so refreshing for one. And for two, so appreciated because this is amazing. Austin, I'm obsessed. I, like, remember when I was like gonna try to learn to sew? I think I'm just gonna like, rely on you and <laughs> just buy everything from you instead because <laughs> you do a really good job. Okay, I am done obsessing over everything and can like focus on Austin and the pig room and the amazing products that he made me. Wait, he told me exactly. I don't wanna mess anything up. The Cozy Cave design, which is by far my favorite thing I think I've ever had. This is incredible. Two, two guinea pigs could fit in there. Two guinea pigs. The only two guinea pigs that I know that would ever get into anything together are probably... I mean, David. No. Hmm? Figgy and Olive. They sleep, they, let's see how they sleep next to each other right Straight now. Look right how now. they are next to each other. They're so, here, should I film it with my phone so you can see? Mm -hmm. Look at them. They're the only two that ever want to be near each other. Hi, baby. And that's Austin's space tunnel that he got me. I would get closer. Hold on, let me try. That's Austin's space tunnel. Figgy is dead asleep because he just twitched. Um, these two are the ones that love to cuddle with each other. But yeah, that's his original model of tunnels from the pig room. And now we have this fancy thing that's longer. So it's even bigger. I don't think it's it's, it is longer. So. You know, I'm not taking him out of that. That's crazy. Anyway, the cozy, <laughs> I hate you. I think you're wrong. <laughs>
Therapy, baby. <laughs> Whatever. She thinks you're freaking perfect. <laughs> Same size. Whatever. <laughs> Austin, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Shut up. I need to talk about him. Stop talking. You're being rude. <laughs> so, if you would like to have some of Austin and the Pig Room's amazing products, you can go to his website. Well, currently you can buy them on his Etsy page, but he is getting off of that platform because Etsy can be real difficult. I've had my own issues with Etsy, but we'll keep my personal vendettas out of this. For now, you can go to his Etsy shop. I will provide that in the link. Josh can put like a cute little thing with the bubble like he does with like the Etsy page, cause he's fancy like that. But in May, he is opening his website at thepigroom.com and you can sign up for the newsletter. If you go to the website, you can sign up for the newsletter. You just put your email address in and then it'll notify you when that shop is opening so that when he's not on Etsy anymore and then he's, you can order straight from his website, he'll let you know if you sign up for the newsletter. So I highly suggest just doing that. Just like going to the new website, signing up for the newsletter, and then you'll know when he's switching over from Etsy to his own website for his platform, his product platform. What is that what you call it? What? <laughs> Austin, Andy, I love you. Thank you. I will definitely be enjoying one of Andy's presents as soon as this is over. Hit me on the gram, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my God, and I'm gonna give these out at the end. That's what I should do. I should give these out at the end, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Hand them out to my friends. You know, cause I got 11 friends up in here. Okay, moving on. So that was really exciting and I can't believe Josh just kept that entire secret for this long. But, so now that I'm back from vacation, it's full swing back into life and life in the guinea pig jungle. Currently, we are all still in quarantine, if you will. The free room space, I do open it up for David and Alexis and Bebe. They have the afternoon out here, but no one else just because Currently, MJ still has cloudiness in her lungs, so she is back on a second type of antibiotic, and she's not gaining weight. She's more like maintaining and then also slowly dropping. She has not like started gaining. I haven't weighed her in the last three days. I'm probably gonna weigh her tomorrow. I just like get so depressed, and I'm doing everything that they say to do. I've started feeding her even more critical care, so you know, we're just, doing what we can, but David and everyone else passed their follow-up checkups and everyone else's lungs are clear and there's no signs of any upper respiratory infections, but still I'm just not cross-contaminating anyone. So as fun as Mexico was, it would have been really nice to have Josh there. But being that I have 11 guinea pigs, pigs are not like a super common pet. We don't have anyone to watch them. All my piggy people out there know like how much it entails, especially when you have 11, like how many hours in the day it goes into actually caring for them, especially if they're on meds. And it, like it would cost a lot of money to like properly pay someone to care for the baby pigs while we were gone. Like it would cost more than, I think it should cost more than like a dog sitting or a cat sitting job. Like it just entails so much. And then if someone doesn't have any knowledge on guinea pigs and you have a guinea pig who needs daily medication like if someone doesn't have experience with the guinea pig you just like can't go and just like I mean medicate them and ex expect someone to know how and like to not hurt them or to not almost drown them like there's just so many things like I say it and I'm like trying to find the words to say it and it's like I can't really explain it because Unless you have experience with guinea pigs, you just can't give guinea pig care to someone and expect them to know what they're doing. <laughs> this is why like when people say like, oh, I wanna get a guinea pig or I love your guinea pigs, I wish I had that many. And I'm like, in theory, this is great. Like, I love it. I would not change this experience for the world, but like you lose a lot of freedoms in it. Like my husband and I don't get to go on trips together. Like I had to go to a, a wedding in Mexico for some of our really good friends without him. You know, every summer he goes on his family beach trip without me. Like, I would love to go on their family beach trip. But 
like I decided to take on this many animals and when you take when you make a decision like that like it comes with some you know downfalls in the sense of like you don't have the freedoms to just like pick up and go do things because even if we did have someone to watch the guinea pigs and the dogs like the vacation for us costs twice as much as it would because we have to pay people accordingly to take care of our animals. You really do just need to think about like the glorifying of like having this many pets and like how it seems so great. I love it and again, like I said, I would not change it, but it really is like a lifestyle. Like this is a lifestyle. You don't really get to do much out of the outside of this. So just really think about that when going into like getting pets and things like that. Just like know where it's gonna take you and know what the responsibilities are because I find that a lot of times when people are like finding that it's holding them back from things, that's when they're like, well, maybe I don't want this animal anymore. And then there's this displaced animal now who needs a home. So it's like, really go into thinking about your pets like in the long term. Like it all seems cool and this guinea pig room probably seems cool to a lot of people, but like it is a lifestyle, it is a commitment. It will keep you from doing things that you wanna do. Like it costs a lot and I am so, grateful for the fact that like Josh is cool with staying behind on certain trips and like taking over this responsibility like not a lot of people probably have a husband or a partner who are as like willing to do that for them so I'm just really lucky that my therapist might be right there could be more of it so next week I'm doing a haul video I just have a lot of things that I've just needed to catch up on as far as just like normal things that I get for them and just added enrichment. So next week should be fun. Mexico was a great time. I literally wouldn't change anything of it for the world. The bride and groom were perfect. Seeing all my friends was amazing. The weather was perfect. It was just a perfect, perfect, perfect trip. I wish Josh could have been there. I'm so happy to be home. So happy to be back with my animals. And I missed you guys. I'll see you next time.